Time. <laughs> the Brookfield Zoo's butterfly exhibit reopened this weekend. We are joined now by Andre Copeland, interpretive programs manager, and what I'm told, even though he doesn't like it, the Brookfield Zoo's butterfly guru. Oh. Hey, Andre. <laughs> How are you? You both are today? the guru. Thanks for being with us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate being here and having a chance to talk about our butterflies exhibit. Well, let's talk it's about this. It's been closed for, for a while, right? That's right. Uh, we were closed down due to COVID restrictions, and now that it's safe to reopen, we are inviting everybody back to see butterflies. It's a great chance for people to come in and understand that even though we have charismatic megafauna at the zoo, we have a commitment to the care, conservation, and welfare of all animals, great and small, especially these beautiful animals that carry the weight of the world, on their shelves. I like that. You know, um, I just love the butterfly houses. Uh, how many varieties of butterflies do you have in your exhibit? Well, at any given time, people can come in and see over a hundred different types of butterflies in this exhibit. But what's really cool this year is that they're going to be able to see species of moths as well. This way, people will start to understand the differences between butterflies and moths, such as the fact that when you look at them sitting on a flower, moths rest with their wings down, whereas butterflies rest with their wings up. Really? You can also take a look at their antenna. Butterflies have club-shaped antenna, almost look like a golf club. So our golfers tend to like butterflies a lot, <laughs> whereas your moths tend to have feathery-shaped antenna. Some of the great things people can learn when they visit our butterflies exhibit and understand how pollinators help make our world beautiful. And this is for kids of all ages, isn't it? Yes, for people of all ages. Yes. So kids love butterflies, but adults do as well. And so you walk in everybody... and they land all over you, right? I mean, you can yes. spend so much time in there. Exactly. You can walk in, take a look at these beautiful flowers as the butterflies are eating. And if you are calm and observe like these people are doing, we can't promise that you won't walk out without a lot of butterflies having landed on you before you leave. Right. It's nice so to make again, friends like that. Yeah, <laughs> It definitely is. Definitely is. It's really great and stress relief too, isn't it? It is great stress relief, and they're finding out that if people engage in things such as gardening or just immersing themselves in nature, it can help with things such as depression and even things such as ADHD. So this is a great time for people to come down, bring the family, create some new memories, and take in this experience that has beautiful animals flying around and can give you a nice, serene experience. Have visitors been asking about it? When's it going to come back? When's it going to come back? Oh, yes, definitely so. And they do ask me a lot. And I appreciate you calling me a butterfly guru, but I have to say my passion and my heart lies with the spiders. Oh, with the spiders. <laughs> so, Interesting. All right. Well, I don't right. want to go inside of a spider exhibit. We're, we're going to make sure that that's printed on your business card. You know, you mentioned that um, uh, these are great pollinators. Uh, they're really essential to the environment. And I've got to ask you very quick, quickly also, my favorite moths, the luna moth and the scropia. Do you have those? Well, at times you may be able to see the Luna moth. We have had them in our butterflies experience before. I haven't seen the species list yet, but every year that we've had them, I'd say 90% of the time we've had the Luna moth represented. So I'd say come on down, keep our fingers crossed, and I'm sure you'll see one of the moths that you like. <laughs> All right, moth guru, Mark yeah. Strell. Oh, All right, Andre, junior. thanks. <laughs> thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you have you. a great day. You too. Apprentice. I love the Luna moth because they're kind of a mint green, come out at night. Really? Yeah, they're spectacular. Very cool.